reason why I've never seen any TikToks of people diving into the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's like charity forms. I'm digging into them. It's crazy. Check out what I found out so far. I don't remember how I got here, but I was just like, I wonder where Bill Gates is putting his money. And I went to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation website. Their annual reports are a whole different story, but we're starting with their grants data. Download all that data, it looks like this. First thing I did was I organized it by the highest amount to the lowest amount in descending order. So the biggest individual grant the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has ever given was $1.6 billion, followed by $1.5 billion. And hold up, they were both to the same person? The Gavi Alliance, huh? Well, hold up, they've given to the Gavi Alliance multiple times for a total of $5.8 billion. And that's just the ones on the screen here. There's more down below. So what do you think the Gavi Alliance does? Well, no surprise there. Then you can also find their contributions to the World Health Organization. That totals up to more than a billion dollars just in those three entries. The smallest grant they've ever given was to Mount Rainier North Cascades Olympic. What the? $50? Man, I've given more money to Mount Rainier than you, Bill. Come on. That's like the cost of a parking pass. What are you doing? Anyways, if you're wondering, the total they've given in all this data is $82.6 billion. And notice that's across all years. I, I, I think that's the total lifetime of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. But then I did something else where I organized it alphabetically so you could see where, you know, they've given a lot of money all to the same organization lots of times. Like, what is Access Health International? All right, kind of vague. It's a think tank, huh? That's still pretty vague. Okay. Like, when are you gonna tell me what you guys actually do? This website is full of jargon that says zero. To be clear, they've received almost $41 million from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And their website is just full of jargon that says absolutely nothing about how that money might be spent. But a few things worth noting. They're based in India, so they don't have to file Form 990s with the IRS. We don't have any idea how they're spending that money. But I did notice that John Michael Lind is a founding member of Access Health and a trustee of the Lind Family Trust and Lind Family Foundation. With more than 39 private equity and venture investments to his credit, primarily in the U.S. emerging... He has more than 20 years on the ground asset management and investment banking experience. So I'm not saying I know what's going on here. I'm just saying that this Access Health International feels a little opaque. Like, where's all that money going? What's it doing? Then we just keep going down the A's and I found Achieve Inc. And I couldn't help but get curious. Achieve Inc. has received $46 million. And we're talking education here. So I had to call up my mama because she knows a lot about education. Both my parents worked in education for their whole lives. She kind of confirmed what I was seeing. Is these guys are heavily involved in developing nationalized standards, like the standardized tests that we all took in high school and such. They're not involved in funding teacher education or higher quality teachers. They're just involved in funding standards and standardized testing, which is good because that way everyone can go to college. Uh, when you try to go to their website and find their reports because they are a nonprofit, strangely, they're not there. And when you try to look at their board of directors, there's literally no information about their board of directors. They're not listed on their website. I had to go and hunt down their 990s on ProPublica. That's sketchy. And I am no expert at this stuff. But I can tell that they're taking in a total of what, like $40 million worth of in? Yeah, $40 million in, but there is no information on this Form 990 about where that money goes. I mean, there's whole sheets left blank, but there's literally nothing to indicate where $40 million is disappearing to. I mean, maybe that's how it's supposed to work. I'm not sure. Achievement First, there's so many achieves all about education. Achievement First is a charter school program over on the East Coast. And charter schools have a lot of complex uh, problems that are not immediately apparent that you might think they're great. Like, oh, sick. They admit students by blind lottery and there are never admission fees or tests. So it's totally fair. But who do they kick out? And I couldn't help but notice that if they admit students on blind lottery, why are they so set? on literally every single face on their website. I mean, like every face. Being brown and black and such, like, like you're dang straight, everyone deserves an education, but isn't it kind of weird that they're like, what you guys trying to tell us? What you trying to hide? 
couldn't be trying to represent charter schools as being more inclusive than they are, could you? Anyways, last one, and then I'm going to get back to doing my digging. Achieving the Dream, Inc. They've received $22 million. And they're transforming colleges and transforming communities. I mean, it sure is good that this guy is so concerned with funding education, but... I seem to remember that he was on a certain list of, like, people that flew on a certain plane a lot. And if you had read Whitney Webb, you actually would know that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation was actually originally, like, the money was managed and the charity was set up in coordination with that one Jeffy boy that this guy totally didn't know. Am I wrong about that? Anyways, I just wanted to share. I'm going to go dig through more of Bill Gates' dirty laundry. And I know I'm supposed to be talking about like farming and other stuff right now, but I got distracted, okay? We'll get back to the scheduled programming in a minute.